What's up guys, Gamer Jan here, we're playing Clash Royale and today I'm really really excited for this video because I hit my all time record 47.25 um, I hit it last night like at 2 in the morning so I didn't live record it, I'm sorry about that but I am going to go over the replays and show you my last 3 battles that got me to 47.25 um, and then I kept going because I was on hot streak and I lost and I ended at 46.95 which is why that shows my best season 46.95 but we did finally get to our record, um, and we used this one deck that we've been getting really familiar with, which is a Golem Knight, which uh, Elixir Pump deck, and we've been getting really good with it, and uh, we still have a lot of improvement because obviously our cards aren't even close to max with only one max card. So let's go right into it, and let's show some replays. Um, here was my 4725 battle, but we're going to go a couple before that, so we can watch where I did good um, in this trophy pushing um, ladder uh, situation so if this loads real quick I don't know what happened here it's being a little laggy but so I mean I was on a hot trick guys I had gone down to about 4400 and then I had to I went all the way up to 4700 in like an insane uh, amount of time so right here it's catching up to the lag sorry about that um, right off the bat I kinda knew I thought he had a three musketeer deck because of the battle ram battle rams are usually always three musketeer decks and I'm usually not the best versus them so I was a little bit worried but I decided, let me slow play it, let me do the pump, um, match his pump. I'm not going to poison his pump because I just, I've switched up that strategy where I don't really poison his pump because if I have a pump, um, I'd rather keep the poison and beat him with the golem beat down with the same amount of elixir and I feel like I should have an advantage there. So right here, um, he's coming at me pretty strong, but I figured, okay, so he has a battle ram and a knight, he doesn't have too well of air defense. I can go in there with the Mega Minion and I can do some uh, pretty decent damage. I send in the Baby Dragon there. Um, get off some of these Splash units in. And obviously my Mega Minion went down and uh, he got a nice, nice uh, jump on me. I put a Lumberjack there. Again, a uh, nice move by him. He stopped with the Valkyrie. Right here, he messed up. He put the Furnace. I don't know why. I guess he wanted to take out the Lumberjack. Um, that cost him a lot. Um, basically a waste of 4 Elixir. And at this point, I put another pump because I wanted to make sure I kept the pressure up and um, I try to get as many pumps going as possible because that's the key to these golden decks obviously right here I don't remember did he get to the pump I think okay well he used a zap and everything but he wasn't eligible uh, he didn't get to my pump I think he got one hit off with the barb so um, I took that all day I was like okay we can deal with this spear goblin gets a hit off but we now have a pump he just put his pump down but um, our deck is really strong and he has a lot of weak cards, he relies on the furnace. If I can build up my thinking heroes, if I can build up a nice golem push, um, there's there's nothing that can stop me. So I put um, Lumberjack and he has no fireball, no rocket, no lightning, so basically nothing that can really like take out all my units at the same time. Right here, I might use a splash for the goblins. And um, he gets a nice push here, guys. He gets a really nice push with Baby Dragon on Rage with the Mega Minion on Rage. Um, nice little deadly combo. I take it out and I commit to this push fully, guys. I think I, I keep dropping here or I might have slow played it to the other side. Yeah, I probably slow played it to the other side. But yeah, I go ahead and I put the Golem on the other side. Because I don't have a minute to get another huge push. I have an Elixir Vantage like crazy. And um, I know that this is this is my game to lose. He has the minions, the goblin game, and um, just with my cards, I know I can take him out. So right here, I fully commit to the defense knowing that a Night Witch and Golem is enough to take out his tower. So he keeps spamming because he knows it's his only hope to continue on offense and pushing uh, this one push. So I commit to defense and by then, my Golem and Night Witch get enough to take out his tower and we get a dub there. Pretty nice strategy there to counter all his cards and uh, good game it's good game so that was uh, that got me to um, 4639 yeah and then I did no I already did that one so that got me to 4668 so this was my next battle after that right now I'm sitting at 4668 next battle would technically be my record my old record was 4676 yeah 4676 and right here, I loved it. Off the bat, love starting with the pump. So I'm going to put a pump in the back. I love that strategy, putting a pump in the back. And he went RG. But I know almost every single RG user puts minions right after. 
So I knew it. I waited with my Mega Minion there to take out his minions. But every they almost do all RG users do the same thing because they want you to put a mini pecker or something on the RG and the minions will come and swoop. So I just waited a little bit. They dropped the minions because that's their strategy. And I was able to uh, finish it off. Right here, um, I, I'll take that, guys. I took a little bit of damage on my tower, but I still have a pump that he did not touch. It's full, and I can go ahead and put a pump on the other side right now. So, um, to me, I'm looking really, really good right now. I got two pumps. I still have a tower up. Um, my deck's a comeback deck anyways, but even with the tower uh, still up, it just makes it even more advantage for me. Right here, I kind of gamble here, and I put the golem back here already. Hoping that my two pumps will give me enough elixir to stop his wave, and um, I'm pretty sure I think the mega, I think the yeah the mini pecker gets a hit off, and I go lumberjack. And right there, my mega went down, which hurt a lot actually, um, because the RG also got a hit off on my pump. Um, and then right here, uh, my lumberjack is able to push to okay, so the barbs stop it, but I still get a really strong push here because I have the baby dragon on rage hitting his barbs. My golem explodes, gets the damage off, and we're just doing your thing. And we drop another pump. Guys, with this deck, you want to pump like crazy when you have the chance. I already know that he does not have a fireball, poison, lightning, rocket. He has no direct damage for a pump. So I know once I get a couple pumps up, it's uh, it's it's game over, guys. Because he will not be able to stop the push that will be a golem push. Especially this one with the lumberjack. Like, I know it, it's so hard to stop. So at this point, I know I'm looking pretty good. I dropped the Mega Minion. He drops RG, so again, I'm saving the Baby Dragon, guys. I saved the Baby Dragon for the Minions. The Minion comes in, and I know I'm looking really good. I have a huge wave on the right. I have the Baby Dragon with the Lumberjack on this side. So I figure, okay, let me just do two pushes, because I know that tower's low on the right. I can take that out. And now on the left side, he has nothing to defend. We have the Lumberjack with a Rage, Witch, and a Mega Minion, and I know we'll be able to take that out, and we do pretty easily. I drop a golem there, that's to tank the musketeer and whatever else he puts. I put a lumberjack, he puts his minions, again the minions are going to get rocked because I have such good air defense. So I'm going to finish off the tower here and um, we're going to be able to get this dub pretty easily. And uh, there's a 3 crown and that's officially our record uh, game right there. We get to I think 49, 46.91 something like that. 4697. So this is guys, this was it. This was my final battle to get to 4725 on my Challenger 3 ladder pushing. And this game, it was actually pretty easy, guys. He had a weird deck that I countered really, really well. So I think at one point in this game he even gave up because he knew he had no hope. So I start off with a pump. I was uh, fortunate in these last couple battles to always get you know good cards towards the end. I mean um good cards towards the beginning like the pump in the beginning he just committed seven elixir there and he got one hit off with the balloon so i put a thumbs up because i knew that was a good play for me um he didn't get too much value off of that push so uh off the bat i felt like i was looking pretty good right here um he gets me really good because i thought it was going to stick with an uh e-wiz push but he went ahead and joined in a hog rider to that and he wasted that zap there i mean i guess it was pretty good um i think he gets a hit off with the hog rider gets two hits off and finishes my tower which is a pretty good move here and right here that minion horde I was really really upset because I know how um, how strong the minion hordes against me guys but I figured okay uh, and right here I thought I lost it I hit the good game because I thought I lost it but I'm like you know what my golem still has a ton of health let me pursue this attack guys um, I want to always keep going with golem attacks I almost gave up there but I me going in and Pushing and being aggressive is what got me a lot, a lot of damage here. I took out all his defenses. The bandit went down. And I think the Mega Minion gets it. And he wasted a zap there also. So he's wasting a lot, a lot of elixir. So I figured um, I have enough for a pump. So I go ahead and I'm pretty sure I put a pump here. Because um, I still feel very comfortable in this deck. Right here, here it is, guys. This is where I won. He went Balloon. And he went Rage. So that's 7 elixir. I go Night Witch right here. The balloon gets, I think, two hits off. Yeah, two hits off, but look at that, guys. Two hits off for 2,000 2, health on a king tower that has over 5,000 health. That's not going to cut it. So right here, we're going to hit double elixir time. Plus, I have a pump down full of strength. 
So I know at this point I'm looking really, really good. He commits five elixir to the left side, so he's going extremely aggressive. And I know I can stop it with the lumberjack, and now I can just create this huge wave on the right. He only has the E Wiz and the minion horde to stop me. So I know if I can just withstand this attack right here from the minion horde, I'm okay. So right here, I think he knows his GG. I put down the poison. Um, and that I, I placed it really well. He could have stopped with the Mega Minion. There's literally nothing he can stop it with. And at this point, he could have gone Mega Minion, but he knows it would have been too late because I would have had the Zap, the Baby Dragon, Mega Minion, everything. So I'm able to get the three crown there, and we hit our record of 47.25. Insane uh, pushing here, guys, that we did so well in, and that's what got us to 47.25. Um, I, guys, you should try this deck out. It's really, really good. Um, it got me pretty far, considering I only have level 6 epics besides the golem, level 9 pump, and level 2 legendaries. I've constantly faced level 3 and 4 legendaries on the regular. So um, that's going to be it for my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my ladder pushing. I'm trying to do a lot of golem um, videos because I know you guys asked for it. So that's going to be it for my video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to check my other Clash Royale videos for great content, and I'll see you in the next one.